Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I am back with another watch unboxing and review. And before we get started, for everyone who are new here, so hi, welcome to the channel. Hope you are doing fine. And uh, I am a watch collector based in India, and I I make videos rather I try to make videos on the affordable watches which I collect. So my videos haven't been very regular so far, but yeah, I'm I'm trying to do better. So yeah, let's get started. So the watch you're looking at today is another Casio. So we have had couple of Casios on the channel so far, mm, couple of G-Shocks and a youth model, the Casio Royale, which by the way is on my list as well today. So, but we haven't looked at the Enticer series. So this is a watch from. Mm, Enticer line from Casio, so you can see it as a budget uh, offering from Casio, uh, like uh, more affordable than their Edifice range. A couple of watches from the Edifice range also I have reviewed. So this is like a a more budget version of that. So okay, so the model number is SW320 MTP SW320, and yeah, this is the variant A1331. Okay, so let's get into the box. So yeah, you get a normal cardboard sleeve, and then again a cardboard box here. And yeah, inside, as you can see, is the watch. Yeah, we'll get to the watch in a bit. Let's see what all we get in the box. Okay, so some information about. Casio India's distributors registration online. And this is the module uh, manual for the module number five five six six. So this is the quartz module which is uh, inside uh, this watch. So I use a manual for it. Yeah, that's basically it. Uh, nothing else in the box. Let's keep all the stuff to the side and move to the watch itself. Okay, so uh, this is the watch. So it's a pilot watch. So and uh, okay, let's remove the protective film from over there on the dial. Yeah, yeah. So this is a pilot watch. So some background on why I chose to purchase this. So. As you know, like I am mostly a, like I am entirely a affordable watch collector. So none of my watches are above fifty k or like you know, above five hundred USD for that matter. So the most of my purchase decisions are based on trying to emulate certain expensive watches. So like I can't get the real deal as for uh, as of now. So I try to find affordable options for them. And mostly, I land up in the in in Casio or Seiko or uh, some other uh, like uh, Japanese brands. So, so for this watch, like I was looking at uh, Breitling Navi Timer and uh, those Pilot watches, which have these like rather busy or complicated looking dials, and they have a internal slide rule bezel for analog calculations. So, uh, I uh, so. That is like uh, above ten lakhs, so uh, quite uh, over uh, beyond my reach as as for now. But a budget alternative would have been the Citizen Skyhawk Blue Angels. So that watch wasn't currently available in India, as I recall. So I then checked Casio's lineup, and yeah, I was pleased pleased to find uh, one watch uh, in the entire range with quite similar looking dial, I would say. Um, and uh, it it also has the, uh, the rotating inner uh, slide rule bezel so uh, as for pricing so it's priced around 6k uh, in the, uh, so the on the box yeah, it mentions uh, uh, 6000 INR so i got it uh, in sale for around i think 4400 so yeah i got a pretty sweet deal uh, from casio india website so mm, there was some end of season sale going on so yeah 
I'll, I'll, I'll try to put the product link in the description I think there are a lot of variants of it so this is the black dial with the stainless steel bracelet so you have leather strap versions you have the white dial blue dial versions and there's some two-tone bracelet options as well yeah you could check it out so the model number is SW320D and yeah within the this model you would have different uh, variants okay so another highlight of this watch is uh, this sweeping uh, red second hand so uh, as you have seen from my previous uh, videos about uh, mechanical or automatic watch unboxings so a, uh, a very distinct feature of them is to tell them apart from quartz watches is the way the sweep, uh, second hand moves so in mechanical or automatic watches the uh, movement is uh, smooth so and, but uh, despite this being a quartz watch it has a quartz movement uh, double five double six as i mentioned uh, and but it it uh, so it is it operates at three ticks per second. So the, it rather it gives an illusion of of a mechanical watch, I would say. But yeah, it, it's a quartz movement, and and the red the sweeping and yeah looks pretty cool. So yeah, it has a hit on the battery life, but obviously because you need the seconds and need to take three times uh, more frequently as a normal quartz movement. So you get around two years of battery life uh, on it. So it is like quite less than the 10 years which Casio claims on a watch like the Casio Royale, but yeah, I'm not complaining. It looks pretty cool. So the movement is, uh, the movement has a day date complication. So this uh, on the nine o'clock in the index you have the day, and on the three o'clock you have the uh, date, and on the six o'clock you have the twenty-four hour indicator. And uh, the crown is at three o'clock, unsigned and push pull. And on the eight o'clock you have the uh, rotating uh, bezel. So th there is an internal bezel which it's an analog uh, basically it works and as a, as an analog calculator so you could do multiplication division unit conversions on it I'll try to put a link in the description uh, on on using it like on basic uh, basic calculations using it so yeah it's it's not really practical like you won't ever need use your watch to like calculate it most of the time you would just pull out your phone and do it on it but yeah it's a neat neat feature to have yeah now i'll show you a quick demo as well how to how to use it but yeah more details you could find uh, through articles online yeah. as for dimensions so it's it's a rather large watch so the uh, case dimensions without the crown is uh, around 44 45 mm and luck to luck is uh, luck to luck is 52 mm and the lug width is uh, 22 mm so any 22 mm strap you could uh, replace the standard uh, stainless steel strap with so yeah it, it looks rather blingy on this uh, like the strap quality is not that great yeah, i probably switch it up for a black or red uh, silicone or rubber strap let's see yeah, it, this will have to do for the time being and as for water resistance this is rated at 50 meter so not that great but yeah this is a budget enticer offering so what can you expect and uh, but the uh, one plus point over the, the youth series or uh, any other cheaper watches is the case material so the case material here is stainless steel and uh, so these watches they have the resin case with a chrome plating so, so they seem quite uh, they are quite light in weight and not as durable of course that's as stainless steel so you get the bracelet as well as stainless steel and the case material is also stainless steel so as a result it is it is a bit heavier than those resin watches so it comes in at around 134 grams uh, yeah but uh, yeah, it, it is a lot durable and the glass also is uh, uh, mineral crystal so a, a bit more durable than the plastic one which is found in, in so which gets scratched very easily but still less durable than the sapphire crystal on higher end watches but yeah mineral crystal over here and uh, okay so let's pop it on our wrist and see how does it look so i have a seven and a half inch wrist or 7.25 around 
so it 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 it, it wears quite big let me be honest because it's it's all um, it's all dial so you don't have the outer bezel so the, the complete watch face is the dial itself so it wears quite big and the lug to lug is also not very small so uh, anything above 50 uh, mm it 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 starts to like push the boundaries on my seven and a half inch wrist but yeah uh, maybe you could pull it off it looks okay i would say a, a bit big uh, but yeah it's fine on my wrist so yeah I, I, I could live with it but yeah definitely on the larger side okay there is a uh, smaller version as well without the uh, inner roll bezel which is available which just has these three uh, inner sub dials but yeah then the inner slide rule bezel is the main reason I got this watch so I I have to live with the larger case diameter for now but yeah I'm, I'm super pleased with it so I, I, I got a very good deal as well so yeah and uh, this isn't my first enticer watch so I had an enticer yeah, in fact I have it now as well so this is a pretty old watch around six years old and uh, I, I wore the shit out of this so th this was the watch with which was with me throughout high school so yeah it has seen better days so the crystal is scratched and it like and the battery is also down and yeah but yeah this is quite close to my heart so yeah i'm, I'm never letting it go but uh, yeah this was my first enticer I, I some cousin of mine gifted it so uh, this is my second enticer in my collection and yeah i'm super pleased with it mainly because of uh, as i said the sweeping second hand and the inner rotating slide tool bezel so if you want a quick demo of it okay so, so for example if you want to do multiplication so you could do multiplication division uh, unit conversions for temperature miles and gallons as well i, I guess but yeah for multiplication so like so the steps are like suppose you want to multiply 12 times 4 so the numbers on here so the numbers on the so there is this outer bezel which rotates okay and it aligns with the inner bezel so which is fixed okay and it has numbers on it okay so suppose you want to multiply 12 times 4 so the number which you want to multiply and on the uh, scales on the watches they have to be converted to the nearest two digit number so if you want to multiply 12 so the nearest two digit is 12 so yeah, you could directly use 12 on these markings and suppose that your next uh, number is 4 so the nearest two digit number would be 40 so you would have to look for 40 on the bezel okay so yeah for multiplication so the index is inner 10 so whatever number you want pick any one number of those so out of 12 or 4 you pick any one so you suppose we pick 12 okay so we align the outer 12 with the inner 10 so inner 10 is the index for multiplication you would have to memorize kind of memorize it like 10 is for multiplication there are different indexes indices for different uh, operations so 10 is for multiplication so whatever number we want uh, to multiply pick one of them and the outer 12 we align with inner 10 okay so inner 10 is between 2 o'clock and 3 o'clock so you see the red color 10 here right so we align the outer 12 okay with the inner 10 so as you can see okay so right now the outer is at okay let me quickly align the Okay. so yeah the outer 12 is now aligned with the inner 10 okay let's look at the next step so so our result would be the outer number opposite to the inner 40 okay so the second number which we wanted to multiply we have to search for it on the inner circle so we multiply we wanted to multiply by 4 so we want to search the nearest to rate number which is 40 nearest as in like uh, not nearest as per like uh, normal conventions nearest to date number as in like uh, uh, multi in multiples of 10 so for 32 it would be 32 for 8 it would be 80 and so on so for 4 we have to look for 40 on the inner bezel and then and our result would be the outer number opposite to it okay so this is the inner bezel and we would look for 40 okay so as you can see 40 is here and so opposite so opposite to 40 on the outer ring is 48 okay so 12 times 4 is 48 so 
<laughs> i know this is this is very silly like you won't ever use this feature but uh, it's a nice quirk to have and yeah it's okay like if you don't get it but like there's there's absolutely no reason to use use this but yeah i thought like <laughs> i would just so you a quick demo on how to use the slide tool better okay and it like it is like an analog calculator so you don't need your battery and all for running it so it 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 works independently of your watch so yeah so um, this was the review of the casio enticer sw320d and yeah that's it for the video guys and uh, i'll see you in my next one bye take care